Hello everyone, I'm Sai Priya, a senior cloud engineer from the iTeam. Today, I'm going to demonstrate OCI Cloud Native Services. Here's a notional architecture for this demonstration. We will be using OCI DevOps platform to configure our build pipeline and deploy our Node.js application on Kubernetes cluster. Also, we have configured the resource manager to deploy the functions API Gateway and VCN using the Terraform script. When a user signs up for a code innovate, it triggers the API created using the API gateway, which in turn calls a function which sends out an email using Oracle Email Delivery Service. Let's see how we can deploy VCN, Functions, and API Gateway using the Resource Manager. Go ahead and select the stacks under the Developer Services. Create the stack and import the Terraform script from the GitHub source control. Pick your repository where you hosted your Terraform script. Select the branch and update the stack name. Go ahead and configure the variables. Now review them and create the stack. Select the stack which you just created and hit the plan button to run the Terraform plan command. You will notice that the script will generate three resources and hit the apply button to provision them. The Terraform script creates a test function along with the API gateway. Now, let's go ahead and configure CI/CD pipeline in Oracle DevOps to deploy your Node.js application. Firstly, let's go ahead and look up for notifications and then create a topic. After creating a topic, the next step is to create a new DevOps project. Enter the project name, select the topic which you just created and create a DevOps project. Go ahead and enable the logs. Here, I'm going to create a repository to store my Node.js code. I will also go ahead and clone this repository to my local system to easily commit my code changes. Once I add my code, I'm going to open the terminal and run the git pull command to fetch and download the content from the remote repository to match its content. The git add will help you add all the changes in the working directory to the staging area. Then we can go ahead and commit the changes. We will now use the git push command which will allow you to push the commits from your local repository to the remote. You will find a list of files and the commits being made on the DevOps console. Now. We are going to configure our existing Kubernetes environment for deploying our application. Let us proceed to create a build pipeline. Firstly, add a stage and select the managed build under the continuous integration. Enter the stage name. The build underscore spec dot yaml is already available in the code repository. This contains a collection of build commands and related settings in YAML format. Select the primary code repository, main branch and update the build source name. Hit the add button to add the managed build stage. Let's go ahead and create another stage to deliver the artifacts. Update the stage name and select the artifact docker image with the tag build run hash and store the result of the artifact in output 01 and hit the add button. Let's see what happens when you manually run the build pipeline. The commands listed in build underscore spec dot yaml gets executed and you will notice that there are logs being generated. The artifacts is saved in result output 01 and delivered as a docker image in Oracle container registry. We will now go ahead and create a deployment pipeline and add an approval process before the build is being deployed. Add a stage and select the pause deployment for approval. Under the configure tab, update the stage name and select the number of approvers and hit the add button. Here is our manifest YAML file to deploy our Node.js application onto Kubernetes cluster. We will now add a manifest artifact and update the type as Kubernetes manifest and add an inline artifact. Once the artifact is added successfully, we will go ahead and add a stage to apply the manifest to our Kubernetes cluster in our deployment pipeline. Add the stage name, select the environment and add the manifest artifact which we just created and save the changes. 
Next, we are going to trigger the deployment pipeline after the artifacts gets delivered successfully. Enter the stage name and select the deployment pipeline which we just created and hit the add button. One last step is to create a trigger to automatically run a build pipeline. Enter the trigger name, select the code repository and add action to trigger the build pipeline. Let's watch the demo. I'm going to update my code with the URL of the API gateway generated using the Terraform script. Then I'm going to add and commit the code changes. As and when I push these changes, a build pipeline will be triggered. After the build process is completed, the artifact is delivered, after which artifact should be deployed. Let's check the progress of the deployment pipeline. We notice that the deployment process is waiting for the approval to progress further. As and when we approve it, it will go ahead and deploy the application onto Kubernetes cluster. Open command shell and type kubectl get services to list all the services in the namespace. Copy the external IP and paste it in a browser window to access the deployed Node.js application. Enter the email address you wish to sign up with and hit the sign up button. It displays a thank you message and also confirms the sign up over an email through Oracle email delivery service.